All right, people. I got this uh, 12 gauge double barrel shotgun. I'm looking for any information I can get on it. But it says Springfield manufactured by J. Stevens Arms Company, Chicopee Falls, Massachusetts, USA. That's the stamp. I'll see if I can get this to to focus at all. Maybe. Huh. Let's try this again. This phone's camera is pretty horrible. Anyways, so <clears throat> the only information that I can find on this particular shotgun anywhere related to it is that normally it's stamped like this on the left side and on the right side it normally says 5100 but there is absolutely no markings on this side of the receiver and I just cleaned it as good as I could without damaging the patina or anything like that but yeah there's the only thing that's otherwise stamped on this is the number 17 with a circle around it I don't know exactly what that is. I think somebody said it was a proof stamp or something. But anywho. So it's a uh, brake barrel, side by side, double barrel shotgun. Um, it's got two triggers, one for each barrel. It's got a little slide safety. It's got safe stamped on it. And then when you don't see the safe, it means it's not safe. The serial number, or as far as I can tell, the serial number is Echo 48116. Then there's also another small echo in the corner. But yeah, E48116. And then it looks like there's another 8 stamped on the other side of the on the other side of the receiver. It's a really really clean gun for the most part. The uh, the stock has two hairline fractures on the left side of it. Mm, I'm not seeing anything on the right side. It's got a little bit of wear on it, but it seems like I don't I don't know if these were lacquered from the factory or if it might have been applied by one of the other owners but it seems to be lacquered um, the butt pad is plastic as far as I can tell if I can get any kind of mm, that's decent <clears throat> but yeah, the stock from where it butts up to the metal at the top it's like 14 and a half inches and at the bottom it's close to 15 the barrel 
is 30 inches long from top to back. The barrel is stamped, selected forged steel, and proof tested 12 gauge. See if I can get that to focus at all. Probably not. Anyways, it's got one bead in the back. I don't know if that was factory or not. And then it is missing a bead up front. And it looked immaculate in the pictures because I, I just traded for this uh, last night. But, <clears throat> like all things, pictures hides a lot. So we have a little ding right here that you can see on the inside of the barrel. And then you also have another little another little war war patch right here a little ding that you can see on the inside of the barrel it's nothing major I'm sure it'll shoot fine and then it looks like somebody dropped it on the concrete and on the outside of it it's a little a little scruffed up I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to fix this because it may damage the overall value of it. I don't know if it's worth anything. But I assume... I assume that it's worth... 500 plus. <clears throat> but I'm banking... That it's worth a lot more. So, let's see if we can get you a picture of the inside. There's one hole... There's the other hole. And all of these... All of these numbers are matching. I know that's important. For guns. E48116. And even on the, the foregrip, it's stamped on the wood, E48116. And then somebody somehow stamped this little metal plate that's embedded in the foregrip. E48116. Well, yeah, from what I can see, there's no damage on the foregrip. <clears throat> and everything is really tight. It's, it's, uh, from the very little that I know about double barrel shotguns, it's got a very tight action. Very snappy. Here, let me show y'all the overall gun. But yeah, if somebody could. Meh. Right. Someone could find me some information on this little boy. Oh, girl. I'd be much appreciated. The barrel, 30 inches long. Stock, 14 and a half to close to 15. Dual trigger. Safety slide in the rear. And this little doohickey over here, I don't know if that's standard on all, sh all break action shotguns or not.
Anywho. But yeah, and again, it's the Springfield manufactured by J. Stevens Arms Company, Chicopee Falls, Massachusetts, USA. That's the main stamp on it. Other, other than the the serial number. And I'm not... I already looked far and wide on the interwebs. I'm hoping somebody has a book um, specifically for looking up guns. And they could tell me just by the the serial number and the stamp what year it is, what the what the value range could be. But yeah, I'd appreciate it. You gun nerd should get to work, right? And I traded I traded this for a Glock twenty seven with two mags. One of them had a little cheap chintzy plus two um, mag adapter bottom plate on it. And it came with a 357 SIG barrel as well. And it's originally chambered in 40. I love Glocks, but I'm not a fan of that particular model. I don't like my pinky dangling. I like having... With that gun, I would need at least a plus 3 or plus 4 uh, mag adapter on it. Just for it to feel comfortable. But yeah, I figured this this old shotgun would be a lot more interesting than a modern pistol that I don't really like and is chambered in something that I don't really like. Anywho, yeah, hit me up, uh, comment on the video, and you can message me on Facebook or Instagram or whatever, hollercrawler2 at gmail.com. <coughs> Alright, I'll see y'all later. Thank you, thank you.